tracking devices. If you could snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bissant's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind.
receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bissant's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter.
Detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Help! I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the bug. How do?
Chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the bug. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. 
I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours.
something else is coming out of the deep freeze. I've never seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide.
What? This is going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. Never let 
let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moose head should do the trick. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. Sly, if you can get the stuffed moose head without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. Heads up. Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the mer... Uh, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? 
I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? That RC combat drone takes some skill to control. Steer with the left analog stick and hold down the X button for gas. After you collect the fallen ammo, press the square button to fire its turret. Here's a pro tip. You can only aim the turret while you're stopped. I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. Through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. 
first, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? Chainsaw and made me a hundred. 